Hey, what's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Minecraft Epic Proportions And today we have a ton of stuff to do guys I'm gonna start a brand new Simicraft building I know we haven't built one in a while Like ever since this movie theater started building Which took a really freaking long time We've not built a new building So I think today is the day And I set up the constructor box like right here So we should be able to build something Higher builder Adam Butts It's the only person we could choose Alright, so everyone else is too busy right now and we've got to find something pretty cool. I don't think I want to make something quite as big. What do you look like? You're a funny looking man. But, uh, <laughs> look at him. Look at his happy face. But, yeah, I don't want anything too big because it takes so long. It takes, like, 20 episodes in the series. W would you like to help build it or something, Cal? Why are you staring at me? All right, let's see what we can choose here. I'm thinking residential. Last time we built something in other and it took, like, years to build. So something... Kinda cool, but not take the rest of my life would be good. Let's see here. Guard tower. I know I built that in season one. I think cool. I can do a mushroom. Well, there's mushrooms everywhere. That's not that cool. Let's see. Quaint cabin. Tiny cabin. Something decent size, just not like, you know, like a thousand size. Because it gets ridiculous. Alright, spacious house. No wool starter house. These are all like, you know, really sad things. Like the poor man's house. The thing we made last time was made of dirt. Um, let's see here. Anything cool? I have like a really hard time choosing when I look at stuff like this. Brick metal house and igloo they can build. Yin yang house. Which we've made before too. Sandstone desert oasis. That sounds kind of cool. Like it's kind of like water in it. I don't know. It's an oasis. You know, should we go with that? Let's go with that. Um, is that really all you need? It's all you need for that. Th thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Build away. Sometimes they don't need all the materials required, like, you know, to actually build it. Because we're in, like, the easy mode with Simucraft. There's a much harder one. So. All right. So he's just going to continue building. I already gave him, like, everything we had, like, laying around. Which was definitely enough planks. So have fun with this. We will see you soon. But, yeah. Today, guys, I actually found a brand new structure once again. Searching off camera. Trying to find stuff we haven't found. And this one took me forever to find. I found the volcano. I believe people have told me that the mutant iron golem is, you know, in that one. So I did find that. But before we go, there's one thing I really wanted to make. Right, Fluffy? Fluffy's still up there. I still need to make Fluffy a, um, a potion. Guys, should I take Fluffy down? That's what I'm thinking. And should I color Fluffy a different color? I can do that too. Hmm. Lots of choices. <laughs> Leave a comment, guys. But yeah, I kind of like that it's up there because I always see Fluffy every time I walk by. And I go through here, like, all the time. We have best friends. This is the weirdest portal. All this stuff coming out of it. Um, but yeah, today we're going to make a new animal bike as well. So what I want to do is take this gunpowder. I had plenty of that and plenty of paper. So I'm going to make some firework rockets like that. And I'm going to take these all around the outside. Saddle in the middle. We've got a Chinese dragon. I've never made this one before. So I was kind of excited about it. All right, let's test this out. Chinese dragon. I'm not even sure what it looks like. I don't remember. And... Step turning. Whoa, you are freaky looking. Red one. That's kind of cool, right? So I'm pretty sure this one flies. I imagine it does. Come here. Didn't mean to do that, but yeah, it flies. Awesome. I look pretty sick on my Chinese dragon. So yeah, this one is definitely cool. All right, so I'm going to get off it, and we are going to head out. Because I set up another teleporter. Where did I put it? I think I put it this way this time. I love this area. I'm really having fun in this series. There's so many, like, cool mods we've installed. Where did I put it? Did I put it here? I can't, I can't remember where I put it. That's probably a bad sign, right? It's like, where? Oh, I didn't put it over here. I was thinking I was going to put it there. I just remembered right the second. How's the structure coming? Some floor going. Probably be a while. Hopefully, in a couple episodes, it'll be built. Because it was, like, a decent size. But, yeah, I thought about building it over there. Then I was like, I don't want to build it over there. And I put it right there. There we go. Okay, let me just eat. And then we will leave. And yeah, I repaired all my armor and stuff like that because, you know, it breaks kind of easily. Especially since I have thorns on it. And yeah, we're way up here. Everything's going to load in a second. And there it is. I actually found one. And yeah, I was thinking, it's going to be hard to mine all this on camera. Obviously, I won't be able to. So I'll probably just do a little mining on camera. Try to grab some of it off camera. Right, scary Chinese dragon? Let's go. I imagine this structure is going to lag. Look at all these, like, diamonds. There were emeralds. Or the emeralds. I saw some a second ago. There's some emeralds. So, yeah, I'm gonna not worry too much about the outside of it. 
We're gonna jump right into this place. And which pet do I have right now? Rain, I thank God. Should I land right here? No, I was thinking about jumping in. Probably a bad idea. I am going to land on the side over here. And yeah, there's gonna be a lot of mobs, I would imagine. All right, here's our landing spot. Shiny's dragon is so cool. All right, awesome. Oh, there's some. Oh, I thought it was on fire for a second. All right, we are in. And yeah, this structure, if it doesn't lag, I'll be surprised a little bit, you know? Because it looks laggy. So what I'm going to try to grab are any diamonds or emeralds that are low on the ground. Other than that, I'm going to kind of ignore them. Because it would take a lot of time just to grab everything. I don't want to waste any time. All right, better jump over that. So there's actual spawners in here. I did not realize that. So real spawners. And chests. Really helpful chests right there. Emeralds. Nice. Oh, got to be careful around here. I didn't realize there were so many holes. I've never been in this structure before. And if I miss an ore or something, guys, I do apologize. I do apologize because it could happen. Do I have fortune on this? Yeah, I do. I remember putting it on it. So um, I'm going to get a lot of stuff. So these guys really aren't spawning very much. I guess it's kind of bright in here. Maybe, maybe that's why. Not sure. But um, anyways, let me see here. Anything in these chests that we can use. A lot of food. Um, we'll grab this poison essence. I'm not going to get anything that's not, you know, pretty valuable. It is pretty bright. I think that's really what's doing it. There's so much lava and it's daytime and we can see the top. It's crazy looking. Never been in a volcano before. Probably the closest thing to a volcano I'll ever be in in my real life. So, this should be fun. Give me those emeralds. No, don't fall. Did they fall? Okay, good. But yeah, this place is very large. Sorry to rain. Damn it, I hate the rain. All right, so in here, more food. There's like food everywhere. I can't imagine that anything good is going to be like near the top over here. Chicken's over here. Chicken, what are you doing here? Yeah, this place looks really dark. Actually, I'm like, trying to turn my volume down right now. <laughs> like, stop for a second. I was trying to turn it. I had it so high for some reason. All right. And yeah, I think it's going to take some time to actually, you know, find the boss and stuff. There's so many emeralds around. I got to grab some of these. I need to grab some. And yeah, the rain is making me lag. I might actually turn it off just because it, it'll make the game run a little bit better. So yeah, guys, I just turned the rain off because it makes the game run better, you know, when it's not raining. And I want good quality for the video. I don't want it to be laggy because I'm in this massive structure. Plus, it's like pouring outside. But let's grab some of these emeralds, which I'm getting a ton of. All right, my Moonworm Queen, where are you? Let me switch that with the Ender Dragon, which we're probably not going to use for a while now. You know, it's kind, of, it's kind of dark in this corner. I haven't seen one mob yet. It's kind of surprising. Spawn a mob. Come on. I'm just I'm just going to break you, actually. We're getting a lot of experience, though. But, yeah, there's a lot of ore, and apparently we're going down, like... This is, like, a giant way down. And you can see the mobs are actually spawning on the lower levels. Because, you know, there's a ceiling. Now that there is a ceiling here... All right, so lots of food. Apparently, it's like their food. All right. Yeah, there's mobs. I was worried before. I'm, I'm not too worried anymore. There's even healers here. Switch to the boat, which I just repaired. All right, die, guys. Die. There's a lot of dwarves. Oh, man. There's so many. Don't heal. There's even healing dwarves. All right, I've killed them. All right, so we will head further down this way. I got to break these spawners kind of quickly, I'd imagine. Especially this one that's like way back here. Did I just switch it with this? <laughs> switch it with this. Nice job. All right, he's not paying attention. He's just sitting down. This is even a strong pickaxe. It like kills everything. All the mists of Rio. Hey, 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 buddy. Oh, oh, no. Give me my bow. Give me the bow. One thing about the infernal mobs, I'm always paranoid they're gonna steal my bow and then it's gonna get like in a fire or something, which has happened to me before. The rare one go. It must have teleported or something. All right. So let's get rid of this. And yeah, they're just, they're kind of peaceful. I mean, they're not really going after me. Let me just break this. Oh, oh, please don't do that. All right, I'm ready to kill. But yeah, we have pretty good weapons, so I imagine we're going to destroy them. I'm not wearing the dragon gear because, you know, the texture's all messed up. And it's kind of overpowered as well, as you guys have seen. So I figured this would be best. Die, dwarves. Die. Where's your mutant iron golem creation? I want to fight him. I'm sure it's kind of far away. I know this place is big because I did review this mod a while ago. And the place is freaking massive from what I remember. It's like really, really big. Alright. Chest. is like on fire. Yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. I see a diamond right here. It's 
It's gonna fall down, isn't it? Let me just get this spawner before I do anything crazy here. Alright, so this one... I got a little stone. A little stone. Let me just put it down, like, right there. Now it won't drop. There's probably, like, a hole below it now or something. There we go. Give me that. Give me it. I jumped too high. Alright, so we're heading down further. My god, this place is massive. Look at the size of it. And it ends with, like, lava at the bottom. Alright, bro. Yeah, they die pretty easy to my bow. My bow is extremely powerful. Extremely powerful weapon right here. It's going to be good fighting the boss, though. That's going to be a challenge. I hope it's a rare, because that's going to make it so much more difficult. Because some of these things are pretty easy, especially if they're not a rare spawn. I love Infernal Mobs. It's such like an epic mod. Alright, guys. Come on. You got to die here. How about that one? One health. Finish off. Why won't you burn to death? Alright, I totally missed right. Stop. He's dancing. Okay, I think he's dead. Whoa! Did not mean to do that. Don't ever have your electric staff next to your weapon, because that's what happens. And my god, they're lagging me. Don't oh no! Oh no! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They lagged me off the side. And now we're all the way at the bottom. And it's really dark for some reason. What is going on here? Hello? H Hello? Alright, so yeah, we made it down really far. And... It's really dark for some reason. You can't see anything. It's kind of weird. All right. So let's see. Nothing in here, really. In this diamond. Rare dude is, like, sitting down right there. So, yeah, I made it to the bottom, guys. Probably not the way I wanted to. Um, but that's all right. At least we made it down. I gotta... Damn him. He's invisible. Give me my bow. <laughs> Don't mess with me. He's got, um, cloaking and sticky. I hate sticky. Yeah, it is so dark. Is it supposed to be like this? I didn't think it was going to be so dark. I can't see anything in front of me. Who just put me into the air? Actually, I think I see his feet. I see the dude, like, right over there. Weakness, Poisonous, Alchemist, and Blast Off. Blast Off's the one that knocks you into the air. Clearly. He doesn't have a lot of health, though. Which is probably a good sign for me. Though I'm poisoned. Being poisoned is never good. And there's apparently lava, like, right under the floor. I gotta be careful with this pickaxe. It's so powerful. If I accidentally hit the floor, then, you know, I may actually break the floor and fall through it. So I gotta be careful. Alright, give me all these emeralds. I'm gonna have so many. i will be able to make my whole floor at the castle out of emeralds. With the way things are going. Alright, yeah, it is dark here. And there's a lot of ore around. Mostly emeralds. Mostly. I'm gonna see how many I end out. Oh! I should have known. I should have known. Right, give me those. Yeah, there's a lot. Let me grab these. It'd be funny if it was a glitch or something that made it like so I can't see. But I guess the mod itself makes it so when you're down here, you really can't see very far. Isn't that right, little dwarf defender? Can you see either? Or is it just me? And why do you guys disappear when you die? It's weird. You don't drop anything. You just disappear. It's scary. All right, there we go. So let's see. Where are we headed here? And... Oh, that's lava. It looks really weird from here. Where are you guys coming from? What is there? Spawners behind the walls? Freaking me out here. All right, put those down. Some torches around. It's kind of dark. All right. So I'm going to break these emeralds. I can't not get them because that would be, like, illegal or something. All right, give me these. Don't fall in. Okay, thank God. How many do we have? 34. It's a very large amount of emeralds. The dudes are over here. I see them. Yeah, I'm not going to go, like, all the way back up since we fell down. Because it's kind of just the same thing over and over again. And I want to get towards the boss. All right, yeah, dark over here. There we go. Anything cool? It's, like, all food in this place. I think once we actually get into, like, the stronghold section, there's probably going to be, like, a lot of good stuff. But around here, it's kind of just like, you know, plain stuff. Nothing too good. And yeah, guys, tip for you. Do not put your electric staff right next to your weapon. Because you might accidentally switch. You know, hit the little mouse wheel. <laughs> and all of a sudden, start going flying. That's bad. Don't let that happen to you. It's dangerous. Alright, so diamonds there. Break this. Throw on some torches around here. I know they're not torches, but you know what I mean. They're worms. Just as good as a torch. 
All right, so let me break this. There's spawners everywhere down here, which I'm not used to because most of the dungeon mob stuff actually doesn't have normal spawners. Apparently, these ones do, though. So being in a volcano can be very dangerous for many reasons. All right, just food again. So much food. Do you guys have anything good? Where, where's the good stuff? Where are you hiding it? Where are you hiding the good stuff? All right, so let me break this. But yeah, guys, it took me forever to find this place. I was looking all over the place. You know, I was flying through my world. You can actually see we're like 3,500 meters away from anything. What the hell is this? What is this? Okay, it hurts you. Or right, was that him that hurt me? Don't confuse me, guys. What is this stuff around? I just broke my worm. Y you don't get those back. All right, there's a spawner right there. No wonder. All right, I am going to kill this spawner. Did not see this right here. I'm breaking it. Breaking it. There we go. We're all the way down to bedrock. I did not realize that. Look. We're very low down. So you have food everywhere. This thing right here. I've never seen this before. It lights you on fire. Can I grab it as a block? What is this? Exactly. It is blood rock. And can I use it for anything? I totally clicked on the wrong thing there. Anything? No. So it's just a blood rock. All right. Could probably use it as some type of trap, maybe. Should I grab it? Now, I'm just going to step on it. Why, why would I want to grab that? I'm not good with traps. I'll just fall on my own trap. I see that this does lead somewhere, so we must be close to something here. You know what we can do? We go to the map and switch it to cave. Looks really weird from here. But I think we're getting close to, like, the entrance to the stronghold. Pretty sure. I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. All I see is lava, and there's the entrance, actually. And there's the way down that I was supposed to go. <laughs> Just fell down. All right, so, yeah, you really can't see anything around here. And let's finish this off, and then we will head into the stronghold. This is cool. All right, why would I just step over all this? And, God, this place is so laggy. I knew it was going to be. That's why I turned off the rain. Okay, grab these. There's got to be something good right here. It's, like, near the entrance. And a saddle for another animal bike. That makes sense. And wind essence. I don't need this. You can have that and that. What else do you guys want? Want anything else? Want some cobblestone? You can have that as well. But, yeah, this is the way we were supposed to go down. Um, you know, ooh, an emerald. Let me just grab that really, really quick. Instead, we took the, you know, the quick route. I may have just seen a door fall, but I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, let's go. And see where this leads. I'm pretty sure... Oh, God. What do these do? Oh! I hear an explosion! Yeah, that was... I was ready. Anything special here? They should have, like, a secret chest or something. All right, don't try to trick me. Does this one connect to anything? Just curious here. This one's just for fun. Just for fun. I see how it is. Okay, so... I see lava, and I see a pressure plate. Okay, it actually doesn't make the lava fall on your head. It's good to know. This place is so dark. It is. Oh, my God. All right, so let's put down some stuff. It feels like it's glitchy. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. It's probably supposed to be this way. But, yeah, it's really dark everywhere. All right, dwarves are dead. That one even had some diamond armor on. Anywhere else to go here? It's your red carpet. All right. There we go. That's how you light a place up. One worm in the middle of the floor. Better than all these torches. All right. So this looks to be the only way. And yeah, there's a lot of choices. What's this? Ooh, chest. Just <laughs> I got excited for nothing. For nothing. It's okay. All right. That looks to be a scary spot. You know what we can do is we can just break through it and just, you know, shoot him in the face. What does he got? Poisonous, berserk, ninja, sticky, fiery. I read ninja twice for some reason. <laughs> I was about to read it again. He's the ultra ronin dwarf of venom. Mm. Die, guys. All right, you. Oh, my God. My weapon. Oh, it's there. Thank God. I thought it blew up for a second. Yeah, don't mess with those dudes. That was scary. All right. Is it safer in these places? It's safer. You guys look. More calm. Much more calm. Alright, so let me eat. And kill these dudes. Alright, die. Got your dwarves. 
all right so nothing there nothing there and this is very similar to that other structure we were in um a while ago because it did have these rooms in it but of course it was not attached to a volcano so it's a different you know it's a different place but it looks kind of similar hello you may come out just want to fight him out here i feel cheap hitting through the walls again don't defend don't defend it's cheating hitting you in the foot face right there in the face there we go and you i'm not gonna fight you how's that feel it's dark in this corner any more chests around no all right so this let's see where this goes all right oh how did you how did you get out here how did hold on a second he just opened the door oh why didn't i know you could do that all right did he really open <laughs> i didn't see that coming i was like i'm gonna leave him in here there's a button how did you get out i didn't know you could do that i wonder if they're supposed to like all open the door and go after you there's a lot of like pressure plates around here worm on top of it i wonder if that helps i'm not sure but anyways guys i think i'm gonna end it here we'll continue into this place next time and hopefully get towards the boss um, but today's winners for the fashion were Adriana Prinos, Ryan Norton, and Roger Liu. So congrats to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.